night in Claiborne County, where officials are asking the federal government to send medical staff to the hospital in Kingsville. They're also asking the state to send in over a dozen jailers. Those requests coming as COVID continues to impact health care and law enforcement services there. The total number of active cases in Clayburg has now risen to 531. More in tonight's top story at 6. Clayburg County's vaccination clinic is still up and running, but its testing facility recently ran out of supplies and had to close down. Fortunately, it's now back open. County Judge Rudy Madrid says he's also working on shoring up the COVID effort here. He's asked the federal government to send medical personnel to the hospital here, and he sent a request to the state to send jailers, all because of a spike in COVID cases. I did put in a request through FEMA for, um, for, 50, um, for I want to say, 15 um, additional health care providers for Spawn Clayburg here in Kingsville just to help them with staff. Um, I did request for, um, for some um, jailers to come from the state military department to help us with our jail. Sheriff Richard Kirkpatrick says he's asked the governor's office, along with the state jail commission, for help in bringing in more jailers. He's still waiting on an answer. We've asked for uh, 15 officers to assist. Uh, we hope in, you know, whatever the state can do, we'd be, you know, we're kind of at their mercy. The sheriff says his department has 17 positions open right now. So he's had to get creative with scheduling and even brought deputies in to work in the jail. Yes, we have pulled uh, a couple individuals out of patrol to assist in jail operations. Those, And what makes it difficult is some of those individuals also have to be licensed uh, jailers. And the sheriff pointed out that that would only be a short-term fix because if those deputies were to continue working in the jail, they would have to get their jailer's license. A more permanent fix would be to actually hire new jailers, and he's trying to do that by working with the Texas Workforce Commission and our local community colleges in trying to find folks who want to fill those jobs. Michael Gibson, 3 News.